Let's see now how this compares with the reds. To give a better idea of the awesome ability of the easy lift to adapt to all scenarios, let us compare turret rotation when one outrigger is not in standard wide mode. Using the same normal human being of 230 pounds, man gear and clothes, let's compare what's going on at full extension. We remember that with such weight, we will reach out 48 feet versus 38 feet in the front with the red. So, let's extend. In full extension, both units will give you complete freedom between the outriggers in the front. The basic principle of narrow is offer max reach in the narrow portion, so for both units it's normal that you cannot rotate past the small portion of the pie if the boom is extended. So, let's retract the booms. Now that both booms are fully retracted, let's rotate so we can do some work here. Hmm, did you notice the absence of movement with the red here? Well, it is not a mistake. The red boom is prisoner, locked in the front if outriggers are in narrow mode. Meanwhile, the boom of the easy lift keeps turning all the way until it reaches the back of the unit. Not only that, but when it reaches out the opposite side, telescope extraction is allowed without further restrictions. En résumé, here is the comparison between the working surface with easy lift and the red in narrow mode. Think carefully if you are said that it's not important. It is important and unfortunately most often unsaid.